Ben Kemalettin Erbatur, a faculty member of the Mechatronics Engineering Group at Sabancı University. I am working in the area of robotics control and automation. I would like to introduce our robot Suralp and Surkan. These robots are designed and built in our robotics laboratory for leg locomotion experiments. We are working primarily on the balance of the walk, especially on balance on uneven surfaces and rough terrain. Suralp is a bipedal humanoid machine. It's a human-sized, full-body robot with 29 joints. It has six degrees of freedom, legs and arms. It possesses a waist joint and two joints at its neck. Hands are actuated as well. DC motors power its joints over belt and pulley systems and special robot gears. Six axis force and torque sensors are positioned at its ankles and wrists. These sensors provide valuable online information on the balance of the walk and on environmental contact information. Also very crucial is an inclinometer located at its torso. The head acts as a pantal station for two cameras in humanoid locations. The robot was completed in 2009 and introduced with a press conference in 2010. Suralp is the first humanoid robot of Turkey. Lake humanoid robots are designed to provide support for humans in the human environment. Various walking and environmental interaction tests are carried out and these methods are developed on this robot. Our main research direction is on the walk on uneven surfaces. Suralp can walk on inclined planes with varying slope, walk on a 15 degree slope surface and slope transitions were achieved in a Tubitak funded project in 2009. Surkan is a 14 degrees of freedom hydraulically actuated quadruped robot. Hydraulic cylinders provide very dynamic motion. Their control, however, presents a challenge. Special about this robot is that our design possesses two joints in the middle of its body. We are exploring the contribution of these joints for all-terrain motion ability. Surkan also received Tubitak funding. Five PhD and 16 master's students completed their thesis on leg robotics in our laboratory, and our research work continues. <laughs>